So with the nerfs to Growth Totem, with the nerfs to Unstable Cyborg, and the nerfs to un Unbroken Spirit, is the take Brawler Death meta gone? Well, kind of is. Growth Totem is still very much a thing uh, in the past, since version 43.3 has come out. So what does the math say? How is this card different? Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Selfin, where we're taking a look at Growth Totem. So the TLDR, guys. 4500 gold card that you can get pretty much for free. Grants 0.75 power and 20 health per minute instead of 1. Uh, it's free at 9 attribute points, which you can get around the 10 minute mark. A 7 to 8 attribute point cost card takes about 15 minutes to grow, not including those passives and actives. A 10 to 13 attribute point cost card takes about 24 minutes to grow, not including the uh, those actives, obviously. And takes about 10 minutes to get uh, growth totem free, but you can get it around the six to eight minute mark. You can spend gold to get it, and that gives you that gets you about 1.5 to 3 power or or and 40 to 160 HP ahead of people who wait for it to be free. So essentially, a 7 to 8 attribute point cost power card, you can, it can be grown around the 25 to 21 minute mark. A 10 to 13 cost card around the 34, 30 minute mark, which is essentially about 5 to 6, 8, 7 minutes longer than it used to be before. The health still is the same. The health is actually really quite good, but in terms of the power and, and because a lot of other cards give armor and stuff, um, it's about the same, basically, I think, in, in, in my educated opinion. So if done well, you can grow a free card by the late mid by the late mid to a uh, late game by allocating attribute points towards other big cards. It's kind of the good thing about Growth Totem. Synergized with Cursed cards, though, Growth to Totem could provide some late game value while the Cursed cards deal with the early game. You then get, uh, you know, one slot to kind of throw in cards as you go up other attribute points and of course if there's one very important impactful late game card growth totem could allow you to get that ca that card earlier while still growing into some value especially with a cursed growth totem maybe going for like i don't know like red zone or something like that growth totem it can help you get there along the way so that was the TLDR. What is the more in-depth approach to it? The more in-depth analysis of it? The math to prove what I just said. So guys, if you don't know, Growth Totem is a 4,500 gold growth card and the growth affinity costing gold to, 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 to put it on. It has a passive that grants you 0.75 power and 20 health per minute that you have it equipped. It, the Another interesting passive is that it's, it's a cultivate card, meaning that for every attribute point that you purchase in game, the cost of growth totem is reduced by 500 gold. So every time you purchase an attribute point, whatever attribute point that is, it is reduced in cost. Meaning, if we take a look at some math here, you basically get a free, it, it, it becomes free at nine attribute points. So you just need to, to get 9,000 gold 8,000 because since you start off with 1,000 and growth totem is free so if you want to be super efficient with it get your attribute points and boom it becomes free so time equipped versus power versus health uh this column down here is what growth totem used to be and this is actually what it is right now so obviously after one minute you gain 0.75 power and 20 health five minutes 3.75 power 100 health 10 minutes 7.5 power 200 health where and as you can see i mean it's really quite simple it's just you get a, a quarter less power than you used to before um and 15 minutes 11.11 11 point and a quarter power 300 health and you know what that's pretty darn good 300 health it's a solid amount really solid um health card over time 
And the power is not bad as well. Again, usually you put Growth Totem on heroes that can kind of, they, they synergize well with their abilities and their basics. So they kind of, they, you know, their their abilities do good damage um, and their and their basics do good damage as well. So you, you want to use it on heroes that can really utilize that power and most heroes can, to, to, be, on, to be honest with you. After 20 minutes, 400 health. That's pretty dang good. 15 power, 25 minutes if you can if you can last that long. The game that 500 health, like it's actually really quite good, especially if you're going for other high cost cards. That's really really not bad. Now, if we take a look at comparing Growth Totem to other cards, you, you can kind of see something here. Um, I actually didn't update these, so you can pretty much just just ignore these as. Um, I will summarize this nicely. You can see that the power uh, that, that that some of these cards have, the uh, the the health that some of these have, and the armor that some of these have, um, the health won't change. This it'll just take a little bit longer. You just have to add about a quarter, um, twenty five percent more time to these numbers. So instead of ten, it's about twelve. Twenty, it's about twenty five, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. You can see that these cards actually actually becomes not that bad. It really, really doesn't. Um, seven to eight attribute point cost cards take about 15 minutes to grow um, on average. Of course, that's not including those passives and actives. But if you're just looking for stats, hey, Growth Totem ain't that bad. 10 to 13 attribute point cost card takes about 24 minutes plus. A lot of some, some of them just really give good stats to grow. And that's not bad. You know, especially again, like I've been saying, if you can get other cards with the attribute points that you're not spending on this one card slot hey i mean it could be quite good it takes about 10 minutes to get nine attribute points to get a free growth totem again if you're really good get some good ganks or get some good uh get a really good farm you can get that earlier or you could actually spend some gold to get it a couple minutes early one could buy growth totem in about the six to eight minute mark six if you're pretty much the carry eight if you're kind of anybody else, to, to get 1.5 to 3 power ahead and about 40 to 160 HP ahead from there. So, I mean, it's really, it, it, it it's up to you. If you're really planning on soaking Growth Totem for as much as uh, as you can and you're going for something else, you're going for some, some high cost cards really quite early, you can get Growth Totem earlier and kind of get that little bit of an advantage. And some conclusions that we can kind of make about Growth Totem as previous, those are kind of those factual statements. Well, a 7 to 8 attribute point cost card can be grown around the 25 minute mark or 21 minute mark if you buy it early. That's not bad. You know, some games are ending earlier. Um, some games are ending later than they did pre-version 43.3. So you know what? I think Growth Totem almost has more 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 possibility to actually grow bigger than it did back in the tank meta which is which is a bit odd they removed uh the, the really strong possibility of 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 super duper brawler tank damage dealers so actually games are actually ironically going a little bit longer and carries can come online a little bit um more often nowadays so games I think are ending a little bit longer and actually enables growth totem to do its thing a bit more even though it was nerfed so hey around the 25 minute mark yeah games definitely do end around there but some games i've gotten a little bit a, a few more high 30 game games in 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 the past couple days and hey growth totem uh growth totem getting what a t like this it could it could give you 600 600 health like that's that's really good especially again if you're going for other high cost cards so the possibility is there 10 to 13 attribute point cost cards could be growing on the 34 minute mark or 30 minute mark and if you buy it early i find that intriguing that that actually might make a severe difference uh the difference between a 30 30 minute the the 30 minute mark and 35 minute mark it's actually, you know, a lot can happen in there. Or prime some uh, some good picks into into inhibitors. I mean, some some really big things can happen between the 30 minute mark and the 35. 
I think that actually might be worthwhile, especially again if you optimize your deck accordingly. If done well, you can grow a free card by the late mid game while allocating attribute points towards other big cards. Really driving that home because that's the advantage of using these growth cards um, that you can kind of get others faster. Synergize with curse cards, which I find is an interesting idea here, especially in the off lane or in the jungle, I mean, or any lane really. Growth Totem could provide some late game value while the curse cards deal with the early game. You go for these curse cards and then you can get the growth totem and then, you know, the curse cards, tremendous value. And then as, as the curse cards go down, growth totem just goes up and it is an interesting idea to say the least and if there's one very important impact for late game card growth totem could allow you to get that card earlier while still growing into some value do i think growth totem is still viable now absolutely it gives you health which is what a brawler bruiser definitely wants and even as a tank it does give you good good health no armor, which is really important for, for, for tanks. So I think Growth Totem is the perfect brawler card. If you want to deal some damage, but be a little bit tanky, hey, this is for you. So heroes, re really any any hero, any hero that you know, that is naturally a bit tanky and can deal some damage, I think Growth Totem, I think growth totem is great. Again, optimize your deck so that you can utilize... Um, that you can utilize the the fact that you have you don't have a card slot anymore. You only have two to play with, and trying to to leapfrog each cards and getting higher cost cards earlier. If you can optimize your deck, I think it can work really well. Before growth totem was pretty much mandatory on everybody because it was really good, even on carries. Now I think you know it's perfect brawler bru brawler bruiser card. It's a good tank card, but in the later parts of the game, tanks really going to want to take other cards. That increase their armor and um, get some other passives as well. So there you guys go. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Growth Totem. What is it? Has its purpose changed? Is it not as powerful as it used to be? It, it is, but what scenarios do, do you think Growth Totem is best as? Who do you use it on and why do you use it? Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, of course, guys, subscribe because you guys like this content, kind of, especially if you found it useful. Especially, please subscribe because I got a ton of uh, good content coming out for October. It's looking really, really good. Please check the video description for all my links to my website, merchandise store, Amazon affiliate link, and all of my social media as well. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.